You know, we can look back on history and see that there are some key people that changed the world. And oftentimes, those people that we look back on, those few key people, that they were different than whatever the status quo was of that day. They pushed against the status quo and they did something amazing, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> but there are a lot more people that change the world than just those few that we tend to give credit to. And we look at people like Abraham Lincoln or Joan of Arc, or, or you could look at the negative examples, right? Napoleon Bonaparte or Adolf Hitler. Those people change the world, sure. But you know who else changes the world? The bus driver, right? Um, the, the clerk at the grocery store. There are people that change the world, and they do it quietly without the accolades and without the glory and everybody knowing that they've made a difference. But chances are, if you look back on your life, you could probably narrow down to two or three people who have profoundly changed who you are as a person and made a difference in your life, right? For me, I don't know that there's a greater goal in life than to want to make the world a better place. How you go about that is up to you. I mean, there, there are countless ways that you can make the world better. Just smiling at every person you see in the day will make a difference in the world. Saying hello to people, being honest and telling someone that you care about them, that makes a difference in the world, right? All of those things. So for this assignment, the first thing that I want you to do is watch a video. Uh, it's if you want to change the world, make, start by making your bed. This video, it's a Navy admiral, and he actually wrote a book called Make Your Bed, but this, this is a graduation uh, commencement address that he's giving in, at his alma mater, his, the school where he graduated, uh, and he's giving advice to them. If you want to change the world, here are some things that you do. And the version that we're going to watch is not the full 20-minute speech that, that he gave. It's just the highlights of the speech. And it's set to music, which is meant to just increase the emotion on it. But I want you to watch this video. He's got some advice, and he has some great ideas of how you change the world. If you want to, wake, if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. If you want to change the world... Never back down to the, to the sharks. If you want to change the world, right, he's got all of these different pieces of advice. After you've watched the video, I want you to think about what advice you would give. If you're telling somebody uh, how to change the world, here's how you do it, think about that advice. Then I want you to make a poster of if you want to change the world, whatever. Create a poster. It could just be fancy wording on there. You could do pictures. Uh, you can do a background. I don't really care. It's not an art class, so it's up to you. But uh, if you want to change the world, what? Create a poster for it. So this activity should take you for sure one class period, maybe two class periods if you get really fancy with your poster. Then when you finish, bring the poster to me and we're going to hang those posters up in the, hall, in the hallway. It's a bunch of advice to other students of how to make the world a better place. So have fun with that. Let me know if you have any questions.